Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about vertex colors in visual shaders in Godot 3. Vertex colors can be used for many different things, and in most modeling packages, you can store vertex data or vertex colors on each vertice. Some game engines will give you the ability to paint vertex colors directly in the engine, and some don't. I exported this cylinder with vertex colors on it. So like usual, I have my visual shader, and my visual shader is attached to my material, and my material is placed on this imported cylinder. So the first thing that we can do with vertex colors is colorizing our mesh. We want to look for input, and under the dropdown, we want to look for color. And from here, we want to plug this node directly into Albedo, and it's colorized. Now the next thing that we can do is we can blend between textures, or to keep it simple, we can blend between colors using the RGB and alpha as masks. So we're going to get a vector decompose, and we're going to split these apart. And as you can see, right now we just have RGB. And if we preview these, you'll see that the white color is being included with all of the other colors, because white has all colors in it. And then you can see that black is being excluded from everything, because black is the exclusion of all colors. So next, we need to look for a vector mix. This is where we want to mix two textures or two colors based on a certain weight. And that weight is going to be driven by our RGB or our alpha or our black. And now we're going to add two colors, two color constants. This top one is going to be black. And this bottom one is going to be red. Plug black into the top and red into the second one. And then these colors are going to be driven by the red channel. We'll plug this in to preview it. Now let's get the other channels. So we're going to copy the vector mix in the bottom color. We're going to paste those. Bring them down. And we're going to bring the previous vector mix into the top of the next vector mix. And then we'll take the Y and we'll put this into the blend. And we'll change this to green. We'll preview it. Do it again for the blue. Just start to clean these up a little bit. And now to get the alpha mask, we want to multiply the X and the Y over top of each other, so we're just left with the alpha. So we'll get a scalar multiply, multiply these together. If we preview this mask, you'll see that that's our alpha. So we'll copy the previous vector mix and the color, and we'll paste those. Bring them down, plug the previous vector mix into the top of the new vector mix, <clears throat> put our alpha driver in, we'll change this to white, and we'll plug this in. And now we have all of our masks set up. So from here you could switch these colors out with textures, and then if you wanted the counterparts to the albedo, like the metallic and roughness, you would have to set up this network for each one of those as well. All right, guys, there's more to come on vertex colors, but this should cover the basics of vertex colors in the visual shader. If you guys thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.